Formosa Plastics Group was founded by brothers Wang Yung Ching and Wang Yung Tsai in 1954. Sixty years later, FPG has become one of the largest private corporate groups in Taiwan. The group's extensive business family includes Formosa Plastics, Nanya Plastics, Formosa Chemical and Fibers, Formosa Petrochemical, and over 100 other domestic and international businesses involved in industries ranging from oil refining, petrochemicals, plastics, fibers, and textiles, to electronics, energy, steel making, transportation, machinery, healthcare, and biotech. FPG today employs over 110,000 people. The group is capitalized at 21 billion U.S. dollars, owns nearly 103 billion U.S. dollars in assets, and in 2015 achieved revenues of over 60 billion. The domestic revenue amounts to 47 billion. Production operations girdle the globe, with major plants in Taiwan, the USA, China, Vietnam, the Philippines, and Indonesia. Taiwan evolved from a strong agricultural base first, into light industry, petrochemicals, and then electronics. Similarly, FPG operations moved from labor-intensive into capital-intensive, and then technology-intensive production. FPG's development has paralleled closely that of the Taiwan economy. FPG's core value pledge of diligence and frugality backs its commitment to perfection. The group's sustainable business model demands it act as a model corporate citizen and regularly contribute to society. The group administration oversees all group assets, handling allocations and reviewing unit and staff performance to maximize staff welfare, investor confidence, and social responsibility. FPG was founded in 1954, with its first business, Formosa Plastics, engaged in PVC resin production, followed by building Nanya Plastics, which engaged in secondary and tertiary plastic processing, while Formosa Chemical and Fibers began producing chemical fibers and petrochemical products. Formosa Petrochemical, specializing in oil refining and the production of basic petrochemicals, closed the circle and set the stage for Taiwan's plastic and petrochemical revolution. Inadequate domestic primary petrochemical supplies made Taiwan reliant on imports for more than 60% of industry demand. FPG began to propose naphtha cracker plans in 1973 and finally secured government approval in 1986. The site in Maliao, Yunlin County, was selected in 1991. The cracker built here was the nation's sixth and the first built with private capital. The 6th Naphtha Cracker Complex has invested 23.13 billion U.S. dollars and occupies 2,603 hectares. In its construction, 32 square kilometers were reclaimed from the sea. Thanks to this facility, Taiwan is largely self-reliant in petrochemical products and its industries enjoy a global competitive advantage. Land reclamation work began in 1994 with the installation of caissons and wave barriers along the site perimeter. Initial fill was extracted from Mylio Harbor. Working against the clock, 
the project reclaimed 2,255 hectares, with an average two hectares each day, a world record. Fifty-four facilities are now in full operations within the Mailiao Industrial Complex. Achieving the vision for the sixth Napa Cracker envisioned more than four decades ago. Supporting infrastructures further achieve vertical integration and maximize efficiencies. Over the past 60 years, FPG has developed a comprehensive production chain that embraces refinery, petrochemical, plastic, fiber, and electronic products. Petrochemicals come from petroleum, refining 540,000 barrels of crude per day, the equivalent of 25 million tons of petroleum annually. For most, the petrochemical ranks among the world's 10 largest refineries. In addition to gasoline, diesel, and LPG fuels, FPCC refines naphtha for further processing in olefin and aromatic plants into a wide spectrum of basic petrochemical materials. Mailia's olefin plant is the largest single producer of ethylene, not only in Taiwan, but in Asia as well. With its U.S.-based production, the group refines approximately 4.59 million tons of ethylene annually. FPCC's propylene and butadiene capacities are also among the world's largest. FPG's 3.12 million tons of production capacity make it one of the largest producers of propylene. FCFC's three aromatic hydrocarbon plants use FPCC's naphtha and pie gas and import mixing xylene, toluene to produce benzene, toluene, OX, MX and PX. Its 3.60 million ton capacity puts it in the top four worldwide producers. Plastics manufactured by the FPG include consumer PVC, PE, PP, PS, and ABS products, as well as industrial plastics, such as PC and POM. FPG's principal fiber products include rayon, polyester, acrylic, nylon, spandex, carbon, and glass yarn. Fibers are vertically integrated into polymer, extruded, spun, and woven textile production systems. Printed circuit boards and semiconductors are the two main categories of electronic products made by FPG. In terms of circuit boards, FPG's business is vertically integrated. From glass yarns, glass fabrics, epoxies, and copper foil, to CCLs, and finished products. Upstream silicon wafer, midstream DRAM, and downstream packaging testing businesses. 
give FTG full spectrum involvement and a competitive position in the IC sector. FPG began to expand operations overseas during the 1970s. Today, the group operates multiple large-scale petrochemical and petrochemical processing facilities in the U.S. states of Texas, Louisiana, South Carolina, and Delaware. Its plans supply a significant percentage of U.S. industry consumption of PVC resin, PE, PP, and EG, as well as flexible and rigid PVC films and polyester fiber. In China, Nanya has opened fiber, electronics, and plastics manufacturing facilities at Quinchan and Nantong. Formosa Taffeta Corporation opened new fiber production facilities in Zhongshan and Zhangzhou. FPC, NPC, and FCFC joined to develop a petrochemical park in Ningbo. Completed facilities will produce petrochemical derivatives including PVC, PP, PS, ABS, PTA, phenol, IIR, AE, SAP, DOP, and BPA. In addition, a stainless steel plant was built in Fujian. In Indonesia, FPG's PVC flexible and rigid film and leather plants supply the needs of local tertiary manufacturers. In Vietnam, FPG's manufacturing is centered in Long An, Dong Nai, and Ha Tien provinces. In Dong Nai, investments over the past decade in textiles, polyester staple fiber, BOPP, PVC film, and nylon are now all in production. In the future, Vietnam promises to be an increasingly important center of textile and fiber production for FPG. Significant labor and capital are invested to reduce energy and water use and carbon emissions. The sixth naphtha cracker alone has invested 3.86 billion U.S. dollars on environmental protection. By the close of 2015, FPG investments totaled 243 million U.S. dollars in 2,131 water conservation projects that have reduced water consumption by over 114.22 million tons annually the equivalent of 1.24 million households. Similarly, over 516 million U.S. dollars allocated to 6,915 energy conservation projects have reduced carbon emissions by 10.2 million tons annually, the equivalent of the carbon fixed by 1,361 million trees. FPG continues to honor the director of its two founders to return to society that which you take and is actively involved in the realms of education and healthcare. Since 1963, Ningjer Institute of Technology, founded by founder Wang Brothers in 1963, has been an incubator for technical talent for five decades. The group founded the Changgung Medical College in 1987 and Changgung Nursing College in 1988. Since then, all three have been upgraded to universities. FPG founded the Changgung Memorial Hospital Network in 1976, dedicated to public service and the health of its patients. It revolutionized healthcare in Taiwan, eliminating patient prepayments, reducing kidney dialysis fees, promoting medical ethics, and so on. Four decades on, the Changguk Network of Hospitals provides over 9,000 sick beds and regularly sees over 29,000 outpatients every day. It is Asia's largest medical network. 
From an average of 19 beds per 10,000 in 1976, Taiwan now has 69 beds per 10,000, more than either the UK or United States. Chenggong is an unequivocally positive stimulus behind Taiwan's rise in the medicine and healthcare fields. FPG cares particularly for indigenous minorities, the disadvantaged, the elderly, and the developmental delayed children. The group also helped rebuild schools after Taiwan's devastating 1999 earthquake and 2009 Morakot Typhoon. FPG philanthropy also reaches across the strait including long-term sponsorship of elementary education, Chenggong Hospital, cochlear implants, the donation of 24.5 million to earthquake relief and reconstruction, and other programs. Looking ahead, FPG will focus on the research development and production of high-value-added products. In electronic business, we expand DRAM niche market continuously in order to provide total solution. The group transforms an LED lighting equipment supplier into a professional system supplier. In China, we have invested 1.63 billion U.S. dollars to raise significant capacity for Ningbo plants that should come online in the middle of 2016. In the U.S., to take full competitive advantage of low feedstock prices, we are investing 4.8 billion U.S. dollars to build an Olefins 3 plant, a propane dehydrogenation PDH unit, and other associated downstream petrochemical plants and support facilities. The group is investing 10.5 billion U.S. dollars in Vietnam, Formosa's High Ten Steel Corporation to build an integrated steel mill with an annual capacity of 7.1 million tons of crude steel in Phase 1, and the Song Duong port in the Vung An Economic Zone in Ha Ten Province. The construction of related units are scheduled so as to be ready when the blast furnace will be in its hot commissioning stage. Currently, the harbor and port Cogeneration power plant, air separation plant, coking plant, and hot strip mill have been put into production successfully, ensuring that the startup of the first blast furnace will occur in June 2016. The Formosa Plastics Group embraces the world with roots in Taiwan. Committed to sustainable business development as well as social health and prosperity, we will continue to build a better tomorrow for all.